Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Happy New Year. I can't quite believe that it is actually January 2018. Like That just seemed absolutely crazy to me. 2017 was quite a year for me. If you have followed my channel or my blog or my social media, you will know that I started out 2017 solo parenting. My husband is in the armed forces and he was deployed for six months. So he returned end of March. And then we went on an amazing family holiday and I came back and I found out I was expecting baby number three. <laughs> it was quite a year and a lot of other stuff went on as well. I did actually do like a 2017 roundup blog post and mention some of my goals um, that I wanted for this year. So I will leave that in the description box below if you fancy a read. Yeah, so today's video is my goals for 2018 as it's going to be quite a year again for us as a family and personal as well suddenly there is like a rogue child that just runs in or starts screaming I apologize I thought he was back at nursery today because his big sister's back at school but apparently I got it wrong <laughs> so that leads me into my goals and my first goal for 2018 is to be more organized now I think a lot of mums have this goal or just a lot of people in general I am NOT a naturally organized person the only time i seem to be ridiculously organized is when i'm having a baby because i know with babies they are so unpredictable and they will come whenever they feel like it and the thought of going into labor and not having anything prepared just scares the life out of me so as you can see i've got my crib set up um her room is pretty much done i've got all the bits for her and i've got three weeks to go but by being organised, I just want to kind of not procrastinate as much. I think that's my problem. Sorry, um, my memory card ended up being full, so I'm not entirely sure what bit I got up to, so this may be a repeat. <laughs> Basically, um, I tend to procrastinate things, like I write it down, and then I think, oh yeah, I've got days to do that, or weeks to do that, and then the event happens. And I don't have any time to do that and I haven't done it. So I really want to um, not procrastinate. And if I get um, like a party invitation through, say for one of the kids to go to a party, reply that day rather than, oh, I'll do that later. Or if something comes through the door and I've got to ring up that company, do it on the day. I also want to kind of get a better routine going, um, mainly in the mornings with the kids. I'm terrible for getting out of bed in the morning. Um, it could be like a pregnancy thing, but obviously I'm gonna have three children to get out of the door um, of a school morning. And um, as I've mentioned before, my husband works away quite a lot. So I don't often have a lot of help excuse me heart them i don't always have help i don't have any family around so i need to have quite a good routine my evening routine is pretty good um the kids you know have a nice bedtime routine and i don't have any problems in that area but i really want to sort of focus on my morning so to help me with that i purchased a very pretty diary um i got this one from tk max you can also get it in tj max if you're watching this from like the states or canada it's by dana Dana Marie, Dana Lee collection, and it's the e Echo Limited. So this lady here, I actually got chatting with her on Instagram and she is lovely. I got one of her notebooks when I was in Florida last year. Um, and yeah, I managed to find one of her diaries here in the UK. And I really like that it had like a month, um, to view there but then each month also has like a week to view and then there's space to do notes to do's reminders goal for the week so i hopefully this will help me keep nice and organized i can write everything down that i need to do and then also like a reminder for the next week to like say oh, i need to pay for elisa's ballet lessons or replied to this school trip letter or just do things like that on the subject of being organized um, i used to have a really good cleaning routine um, when i lived at my old house i used to do set chores on like set days and kind of over time that's just sort of fallen by the wayside but when i did stick to it i just noticed such a difference in obviously the state of my house the state of me the state of my mental health because i think you know clutter creates clutter like 
as in in your mind and I know that when I've got the house nice and tidy I'm nice and I feel like I'm on top of everything I feel a lot calmer um, and life just goes a bit more smoothly so I will do a separate video on that on how I plan on working that around obviously some of these things I'm not going to be able to quite put into place until baby girl has arrived or I'm going to have to adapt them obviously based on kind of the routine that we end up following with her but yeah I definitely want to get the three-year-old I definitely want to get a nice cleaning routine um into place like you know try and put a wash on first thing in the morning so that when I get back off the school run it's done and I can hang it out um you know do the kids bedrooms when they're not here because when I'm trying to tidy up or like you know get rid of old toys and stuff they're like oh no I want that and you're like you haven't played with it for months my next goal is to continue working on my mental health last year I feel like was a big year for me in that I finally felt like I'd got a grip on my mental health and um, I've done several videos on my mental health um, I will link the ones that I've done below but if you just go to my channel page you'll find them on there um, I had the privilege of working with pandas yet again I've worked with them the last couple of years on their mental health awareness week and I also went on ITV and talked about my experience with perinatal mental health and the response I got was just so overwhelming and I get contacted weekly if not sometimes daily by women just thanking me for sharing my story that they can relate and it just felt like maybe all that bad stuff I went through was for a good reason if that makes sense like I want to try and turn what was such a horrible time in my life into a positive thing so I want to use my knowledge and my experiences to help other women so I'm going to be doing a lot more mental health based videos and also how I'm managing my mental health becoming a new mum again for the third time because obviously I know there's going to be big hurdles to face it's going to be difficult um, it's hard for any new mum um, let alone someone who has a tendency to suffer with mental health look out for those in the coming months um, it's something I'm really passionate about I hope to work with pandas yet again this year and I'd really like to do something charity based um, and kind of push myself maybe do like a 5k or something to raise money for pandas and also mind are a really lovely charity I've used their website quite a lot for information and you know tips and things so yeah I definitely want to continue to work on my mental health and help raise awareness about mental health and yeah share my story more following on from my mental health I want to continue and work harder to invest in myself now I don't necessarily mean like financially obviously spending money on yourself is nice but again I think 2017 was kind of the first year that it sort of clicked in my head that actually I do matter and I matter just as much as anybody else in my family I've always put my children first and I've always been very much like well I'm a mum now I shouldn't get time to myself or I shouldn't spend that money on myself and you know even if there was spare money going I was like no I'm not gonna spend it on me I'll just find something extra to spend it on the kids or um, you know all my all my time should be consumed with them and then I think that went hand in hand with how bad my anxiety was becoming because they were everything to me and I had nothing for me and again it's kind of why I started my blog and my YouTube and I've really been enjoying it and I kind of found after you know this past year and I have invested myself in a, a little bit more and taken time for myself the changing me is just so different and I feel so much more positive I feel so much more confident in myself and I've recently just turned 30 um, and it's taken me to this point now to realise that actually it doesn't make me a bad mum or a bad person for wanting to take a bit of time for myself, spending a little bit on myself and investing in myself. I think it's essential and I think in turn it's made me a better mum, a better wife and I definitely notice when I haven't taken the time to do that. So yeah, 2018 is definitely going to be the year where I invest in myself a bit more. I think that self-care goes hand in hand with mental health and you know if you had the flu or a bad back or you broke your arm you would do things to look after yourself to get yourself better and I think your mental health is just as important and self-care so yeah this year I am really gonna push with that. I'm still kind of on um, the topic of like 
pushing myself that much further and paying a bit more attention to myself I want to this it's kind of like a two-in-one goal I really want to grow my channel and my blog even further um, it's got to a point where I'm really proud of it um, but I always feel like I could have done more um, if I'd made a bit more time or if I didn't hold back or I hadn't said no to that opportunity because again like with my mental health it's kind of taken me to this point to realize that people are going to have an opinion on your life and what you do regardless of what you do so you've just got to do what it is that you want to do and I've always very much have been that's really bad English I've always been a person who has lived my life the way I think other people think I should live my life like I'm a people pleaser I don't like to upset anybody I don't like to offend anybody and I still don't but I think there's got to be a balance where you can say look I appreciate your opinion you're entitled to your opinion that's your view but this is my life and this is what makes me happy and this is what I'm gonna do so you know not just with regards to my blog and YouTube but just all aspects of my life I just want to push myself a bit further and out of my comfort zone um, like I mentioned earlier maybe do a 5k I've done a few in the past and I'm not an actual runner but I just like to do something that just gives me a bit of pride and a bit of joy and to be like yeah I worked for that I pushed myself out of my comfort zone I did that I want to try out some different styles of vlogging try some day in the life it's a highly requested video from you guys um, and also I do a lot of Instagram stories if you don't follow me over there I'll leave my Instagram handle below I do a lot of daily Instagram stories but I think with them I feel a lot more confident with doing them because um, they go after 24 hours and when you put something on YouTube it's there until you kind of delete the video so yeah I really want to kind of push myself out of my comfort zone a little bit with my channel and with my blog and just see where it takes me really and hopefully it'll take me to some interesting places so that is it, they are my goals for 2018 um, I think this might have been really long and rambly but it's basically a lot of working on myself as a person um, working on my mental health trying to be more organized and growing my channel and my blog and I think if I put all those other things into place then hopefully you know all of the other things will fall into place like growing my channel and my blog and me as a person I think stepping outside of your comfort zone can only bring good things so that is what I'm going to do I know it's not going to be always easy but what have I got to lose I think I've got more to lose by saying no and so much more to gain by saying yes thank you so much for watching I would love to hear your goals resolutions however you call it um, for 2018 please leave a comment below I love reading your comments and I do my best to get back to all of you it really does mean the world to me um, that you subscribe and you watch and you like and you comment on my videos um, you know it's it just yeah it means the world so if you haven't subscribed please do so if you have thank you so much i hope you stick with me for 2018 and yeah i will see you in my next video bye